Okay, we finally did it. Um, we are pushing a new version of uh, Explore. Uh, after a couple of years of uh, silent updates uh, of the package, uh, both in uh, internal projects and um, selected uh, clients. And in this video, I want to show you the process of building a MetaQuest 3 VR application from scratch. So I have uh, here a, Unity, a new Unity, an empty uh, Unity project made with the Universal Render Pipeline core template. Uh, what we are going to do is to install um, a SYN, first of all a SYN, and then the Unity package of uh, the plugin. And <clears throat> we'll see uh, how to create uh, an application for the MetaQuest uh, 3 uh, VR uh, from, uh, from scratch using uh, Explore, uh, Explore 2. So first of all, this is the uh, scene we are going to install. It's a URP scene, uh, which will be available for free for uh, users, um, for Explore 2 users. So you will find a code to redeem this uh, scene for free uh, inside the, the package you will get from the Unity Asset Store. Uh, let's get back to to Unity and first of all let's install the uh, scene. We'll drag and drop the package uh, from my computer uh, into the, the project view. This will ask me to install, to import uh, all the assets of the, of the scene. Let's click import and wait for the first import of the scene. Okay, so the scene uh, is imported in, uh, our, uh, inside our project and you should be able to see the, the scene. Here we are, it's a little scene uh, made uh, in a universal render pipeline with a good lighting, everything, uh, uh, with, uh, everything uh, optimized for, uh, for mobile and for the Quest, uh, for the Quest VR application. Next, we are going to install Explore. I'm installing the um, uh, Unity package from, uh, from the disk, but uh, you'll be able to install it using uh, the package manager. This is the set of uh, files that are imported. Let's wait. Okay, as a result of uh, the installation, of Explore, we should see no errors here after the clear of the console. And then we will see a new uh, button over here, a new menu. And we can uh, install the, the plugin inside the project. This will uh, automatically download and install uh, new packages and also setting some of the settings of the, of the project. Uh, yes, we will uh, reply yes to both the messages. We will uh, be prompted from the editor. Then the project will uh, restart. And now the, um, the project is ready with Explore inside the, the project. Next, uh, we need to install the uh, Explore inside the, the scene and we can do it by clicking on this button over here. This will install a um, game object inside the scene. And uh, the last step is to create Tom. Tom is basically, um, our, uh, it represents uh, our um, cameras, uh, and so Tom will be um, uh, will uh, uh, 
create a new camera based on the build template we choose. So for example, if we are building a, for a VR, it will create a VR camera. Uh, if we are building for a 3D real-time application, it will create uh, the camera for 3D real-time application. So we can build uh, our scene uh, one time, only one time, and uh, all the interactions uh, will uh, uh, work um, seamlessly between uh, different uh, platform and different uh, mode. Um, so now that we have Tom in our scene, we need to customize the scene uh, in order to, to, uh, to get uh, the, the, a good result in Explorer. First of all, we need to remove or uh, uh, deactivate uh, all cameras. Uh, in this case, we have only one camera. Um, and then in the Explore panel, Build, uh, build tab, uh, we are able to select one of the build template. In this case, we want to build a Quest 3 application, so we can select uh, the Quest uh, build template and then apply template. Uh, during this process, the build template system will uh, install uh, uh, the needed, the, the packages needed for the uh, for the, in this case, VR application, but also we have uh, templates for AR and so on. And uh, it will also switch the platform from uh, um, the, the Mac OS, in this case, uh, platform to the Android platform. And so this process may take a while for the first switch, uh, depending on the size of the, of the scene, on the amount of... Uh, 3D models and texture you have installed uh, imported in your uh, project. So let's wait for the um, build template application process and then we will get back to, to Unity. Okay, after the uh, switch of the build template, uh, uh, the plugin will uh, ask for uh, the installation of the TMP essential resources that, that are basically needed for the uh, text mesh pro for the text for the uh, text inside the our scene. Let's click import, and now uh, the the project is completely uh, ready for uh, for VR. And uh, let's see, uh, we will do a couple of iterations um, for, for the build. So first of all, let's uh, open the uh, project settings to tweak a little bit the, the build. Uh, for example, in the player tab, we can change the default uh, company. And then uh, over here, we can uh, remove the override default bundle identifier uh, toggle. Um, so our application will be unique and not with um, default uh, Unity package name. And uh, yes, we can do our first build and then we will go back in Unity uh, to see how to improve the, uh, the application. So we connect our headset to, uh, to Unity. We should uh, be able to see the, the device in the run device um, select. And before doing the, uh, the actual build, we need to add the scene uh, in the build settings. So we can click uh, add open scenes and we can remove the default scene uh, from the Unity um, from the Unity uh, URP uh, core, uh, core template. And then we can do a bit of run. Okay. The build is complete. Let's see inside the headset. Okay, 
So uh, this is the first uh, iteration of the of the build, and we can see uh, two things. The first one is that uh, we have a lot of aliasing, and we need uh, to enable uh, uh, an anti-aliasing uh, uh, feature in order to remove all this, these uh, artifacts. And the other one is that we cannot teleport uh, in the scene. Uh, also, another thing is that uh, we need to remove the default uh, screen space ambient occlusion feature, uh, which is not needed in this scene because we baked the ambient occlusion in, uh, in the light maps. Uh, and so we will do these three things. So, first of all, let's, um, let's add uh, anti-aliasing. We can do it by going in the quality settings. We can uh, remove this and go here in the uh, universal render pipeline asset. And we can uh, switch to, to um, anti-aliasing uh, 2. And then we need to uh, add it to the um, VR camera and uh, we can open the visitor XR uh, prefab, go to the head, which is the, um, the, our, um, mm, our camera in VR, enable the process processing and enable the anti-aliasing uh, functionality. And, uh, and that's it for the anti-aliasing feature. Uh, now to enable uh, the teleport inside the scene, it's a good, it's a good idea to uh, create a new layer for uh, uh, clickable, workable uh, objects. Uh, so I can select the floor and add a new layer. I can call it floor and set it over here. Then we need to add the physical uh, part of this uh, mesh and we can do it by uh, clicking on the add component mesh collider and that's it. And then in explore in the uh, scene tab we can say to the, to the plugin to work on uh, uh, all objects uh, in the floor layer here, okay. Uh, last thing is to remove the uh, screen space uh, ambient occlusion, which was creating uh, artifacts because we already baked the ambient occlusion uh, uh, in the light maps. So in order to do this, we need the renderer of the asset we are uh, currently using and remove the screen space ambient occlusion feature, which is enabled by default in the uh, template we are, uh, we are using. And now we can do uh, again on the build settings, reconnect our uh, headset and do another build. You can choose the same name or another name, it's okay. This time the build should be a lot faster. Okay, the build is complete. And now we can teleport around the scene and um, the aliasing is uh, missing and so we are ready to finalize our, uh, our project.
so that's it for this video explore is available uh, right now on the unity asset store uh, this scene uh, will be linked uh, uh, both on the description of this video and also uh, inside the explore 2 package when you download it and you can get the this uh, scene for free um, uh, of course let me know if you have uh, any doubt questions uh, you can uh, write uh, a comment on the on this uh, video but also reach us uh, on discord so thanks bye bye